Uh, today, this is a very short video. It's uh, just to try to see is one task. When you're doing the rank administrator, you probably need sometimes needed to do this task. It's not very often, but sometimes it, if you have like a four or five rank system, sometimes you have to change the poor number for listener. There's two of them, one's a scan listener, another one's a local listener. The port, how to change it, this probably is different from the rank. In the rank, it's different from the way you're dealing with in a single database. You know you have listener file, modify the port and restart, right? But in rank case, more and more change, let's say 11G, um, you can see the port, 12C you can see the port, but 19C may not be. So our purpose today is to try to really quick demo to change the default port 1521 to another port for rank configuration. The system will be there, say, scan listener and local listener, right? Actually, it's the, in the rank, you do not care which server it is. And, because you start on the first just node, you can do everything. Yeah. Just on the one node, you change everything, scan, and node. Now, like before, I checked the file one by one. Now it's different. Say in the 12C, you still can see some poor information. So like a, you have listener file, is the defined listener and scan listener, but in the unfound listener file, there's some port number, right? 1521, 1521, part two, a host name. Uh, but in 19C, recently installed. I try to see what I can do to change the port number in the file. I didn't find it. Only one file, listener file, is under the grid home. So it defined the local listener, also defined scan listener one, two, three. But there's no any port information. But however, when you're dealing with the rank, two command remembering, one CRS CTL, another one SRB CTL. You can get any information from those two. So here's generally the way you're dealing with change port in the rank. One, you can use the GUI tools, net CA. Another one, use command line, SRV CTL. I'm the Linux guy, I always use Linux. This is a GUI, uh, if you want to use it, it's much easier. So here is the sequence that we are going to use to modify the port. The first we're running this one, configure, which is meaning show you information about which port you're listening on. And then the scan listener. We modify the scan listener port to the 1560 from 1521. And then we also check local listener to see what's port on it. And then we modify it. When we modify the Bose configure file, and then next one we're going to bounce it. We first we stop scan listener. The next we stop listener. Local listener. And the start sequence we start local listener first. And we start scan listener. So finally we're going to check to see the port is changed for scan listener and the port is changed for the local listener. This is the whole sequence we'll try to demo. Uh, most of the command didn't give you anything, it was just to say the first one show you 1521 and then configure it, show you 1521 and then you just run into it. Almost no any response, so it's just to finish. And we check the port to see the change. Now let's go to the Linux server, I can show you on the Linux server. We run on the node 1. Later we're going to check on node 4. So first we'll check on node 1 to see what it looks like. So this is scan listener is on the port 1521. There's a three of them. Uh, it's 
currently the three of them is running let's check the local listener is the next one we're going to check is also running on 1521 when you use the configure you really is not really configure it just to show you what is the configure so and we're going to file running modify we we'll modify the listener 1560 this is scan listener we we'll modify it. And then next one, we are going to modify the local listener 1560 and port. Now, because we modified it, now we're going to bounce it. The sequence we first stop is the scan listener and the listener. When started, you start listener. Scan stopped. We're gonna spot, uh, stop the listener, local listener now. Okay, when you start, you start local listener first. Okay, then we're going to start the scan listener. When the scan listener started, everything is bounced. We are going to go to another node to check the status, not on this node. The next one, we're going to move to node 4. We check the status using configure. You see the port is a 5060, 1560. For the listener itself, 1560. Hope you like it.